This time I'm going to show you how to set up hand clock on a Windows system. Stay tuned. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to get this uh, video the best I can to get you guys hooked up with ham clock on a Windows system. Yeah, it's not very hard. It is a little bit of uh, take some technical review, but it's not hard. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to look for, you're going to search for turn Windows features on. Um, and that's going to be, you know, just hit your search bar, your search bar down at the bottom there, and it will pop up with not that one. Let's go ahead and we'll just turn Windows features on. And you're going to want to scroll down all the way down till you see Windows subsystem for Linux. You're going to want to check that. The virtual machine platform also needs to be checked along with the Windows hypervision platform. Uh, check both of those along with that Windows sub Linux and then push OK. Next you're wanting to uh, install this from Microsoft Store. Um, I've got links in the descriptions on where to find this. That's going to pop open a, another window here. And just go ahead and open that or install it. I've already got it installed. So it will come up with a command prompts window and it will ask you to do a bunch of stuff there, uh, setting up an account basically, uh, put in a user's user's name and password, and then uh, when that comes up, you'll have uh, when that's all done, you'll have something similar to this. I obviously named mine after my call sign. So when you get to this point, you're going to want to add a few things into this to get ham clock working on a windows system okay once you get up uh, to the point where you need to start setting up uh, follow the instructions off of the whiskey for charlie alpha echo.com's website um, i'll have links again in the description uh, where to find this uh, set up the sudo app update sudo app get upgrade all of that F follow the whole the whole thing when you get down to the the make dash j4 ham clock dash web dash 16 by 960 um, for some reason it was locking up on me I had another gentleman uh, email me saying it was locking up on him as well um, the fix for it if you go over to the ham uh, clocks website at clearskyinstitute.com again links in the description um, under the users contribute uh, tab uh, there is a couple write-ups on how to uh, install it as well on windows um, i followed the make ham clock dash eight by 800 by 480 um, i went ahead and copied and pasted that into the command prompt um, that worked. I, I, I changed it to the 16 by 960. I didn't leave it 800 by 8, uh, 480. I did leave, I did change it to 16 by 960, but that worked. Uh, went ahead, sudo make install. Um, that's pretty much it after that. Once you get to that point, we'll go ahead and open up command prompt, which is you go to the search bar, command, and there's the command prompt window and it looks very similar to the one that you, we set up the Linux on here you're gonna type in WSL sudo ham clock 
it's going to uh, prompt you for a password. That's the password that you set up earlier. And don't worry. Um, the, uh, the password will not show up as you're typing. Once that hits, um, go ahead and it'll open up another window here. If it doesn't, um, you can go to your browser and type in, I've already got mine bookmarked, uh, type in the IP address with 8081live.html and that will uh, that will bring it up on your web browser as well and and you can do that if any 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 device hooked up to your home network uh, will be able to do this so if you've got a TV um, hooked up to your network just type in that uh, that IP address with the 8081 uh, live.html and it'll pop up on your uh, on your TV so the first screen when you click that the first screen is uh, obviously a pretty pretty basic info call sign uh, longitude latitude grid number um, I don't have any of these uh, hooked or set I have left them at no uh, page two is where you set up your cluster <coughs> excuse me uh, cluster yes I'm, uh, I'm hooked up to the DXUSA.net cluster. Uh, pretty nice cluster there. 7373 is the port. Uh, Login. Uh, for your FT8 guys out there, uh, WSJTX, uh, uh, you can hook it up to, uh, up to that. Um, there is uh, some certain parameters that you have to make sure you got hooked up. Uh, IP address ports, uh, etc. Um, spider commands. Um, basically filters that you can set up for your your cluster um, here's your rig control do you want to control your rig your rotor control or your FL rig if you guys have FL digi and have FL rig uh, here that is um, in NTP and the ADF you can put up your ADF file uh, if you have a local ADF, ADIF file uh, you can uh, load it there um, centering your map where you want it centered uh, pretty basic uh, set up the way you want it do you want uh, you know you can set up call signs prefix no spots dots uh, I've got prefixes um, all that here's where the next page is all your lines um, for your uh, your rotor map grids uh, satellite paths all of that and then you're back to page one click done It'll come up with another window, and uh, it takes about, oh, three or four or five seconds for it to run through. And then, uh, see, it's ready now. And then it pops up, and there it is. Ham clock on a Windows computer. And there it is on the Windows browser. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll, I'll be. I'll try to answer the best I can. I'm not very the best technical guy in the world, uh, but we'll definitely uh, try to help you out the best we can. Because, uh, like I say, anything that's free, I would rather have you guys have it for free instead of trying to buy it. Um, anyhow, this is KF0IDT. Uh, thanks for watching, and 73s.